Dude always had a stack of money like not. Over eight million recovered. This man was in charge of a 50, 50 million dollar crime ring. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, pirates of all ages, we are here. Finally back in this unit. It's been almost six weeks I bought this unit right here because I needed a storage unit. Number 33. We've been in it for like about 15, 20 minutes. I got the little woman a bike. I found some cool laptops, etc., etc. But we have not touched this unit. 10 by 20 pack. Very excited. One discouraging thing is I did notice a cockroach in one of the boxes I brought back to my my trailer wall is not looking good. What's going on here? You guys see that coming off? Yeah. I need to start screwing this bad boy down again. This trailer. Ooh. This baby's old. Almost thinking of selling it. Almost thinking of getting rid of it. But I don't know. I like it. I miss. I love it. It's been the most wisest investment I made from day one when I bought it. And it's just kind of like I'm attached to it. My first ship, right? Anyway, let's get started and see what we got. Things that made me stand out when I bought the unit was stuff like this fishing pole. I thought the mattress would be super nice because it's in the bag. I'm still undetermined about that. And it just seemed there was a bike right here. First getting in, it gets a little bit less of quality items at off first glance, but I think this is going to be a small jackpot. We're going to get started on it. First, we have some chairs. Okay. Smell like antique almost and pee all at the same time. That's got to be probably if I'm lucky. 10 bucks then this chair is completely dilapidated and basically the 10 bucks i just had out of the last chair went down to eight actually it won't be that much to dump this but yeah this is a garbage chair this one is just gotta go what i do like is i got a new jack this is exactly like the one that i already have and now i have one for each trailer I actually like these because then what I, I like to do instead of using the dang thing in the front of my trailer I just go like this to lift it on and off the truck so I'll probably end up keeping that right there right now I'm extremely cautious because I don't like cockroaches never have we got an insignia here that is really honestly less than a $20 TV maybe TVs have gone down in value and if I do remember correctly we kind of went through this box already and it had some cool stuff in it actually it had things that I want to set aside for Alameda because stuff like this this Fenton vase they picked up a Goodwill for 49 that's got to be at least 10 bucks in Alameda so you'll have to go back and wash this we don't want to go over the same stuff again I will set this aside for that day Okay, let's carry on. Okay, what is this? Oh, this is looking like a possible $20, $25 bill here. That's not, that's about a $10 pan, but I'm not gonna squawk at that. But this right here is a little bit more. No, no mark, I thought it was a Griswold. Maybe an unmarked Griswold. This will probably end up in an Alameda load. I'm going to make some type of Alameda load because that's in a week and I don't have a load. So what I do is I piece together everything that fits the mold and I bring it there first. Kingsford, the original. All right. At the store, that's what, 10 bucks? Still probably be eight, 10 bucks at the flea market. Oh, it's the personal photo box. Um, this will just all be given back to them. That's, that's all I'll do with this. Leave this for the manager. Uh, I should look to make sure there's nothing like priceless gems in here, right? Naturally. But I don't want to go through all these photos. Yeah, this is personal. Personal. All right. And what do we have here? Ooh. Oh, come on. Please. All right. That all probably keep because that is like 10 karat gold right there somebody's work appreciation contra costa county i'll settle for that i'll settle for that 10 karat gold memories i have to take a quick look through here a little bit what's this down here oh that's kind of cool thou shalt not oh this is nice this is important the 10 commandments very important because these are things you're supposed to remember right uh people often think that the mark of the beast means that it's a physical representation of a number on your hand when in all actuality the mark of the beast represents getting people to disobey the word of god believe it or not i am the lord my god thou shalt not have strange gods before me second thou shalt not take the name of the lord thy god in vain Remember that thou shall keep holy the Sabbath day. Honor my father and thy mother. Thou shalt not kill. 
Thou shalt not commit adultery. Thou shalt not steal. Thou shalt not bear false witness against thy neighbor. Thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's wife. All right, good one to know. Thou shalt not covet my neighbor's goods. All right, don't touch my storage unit. Integrity is everything. Just because you sometimes, we have to remember that we have to stay in that mind frame at all times. You know, sometimes we do things and we we make excuses for, oh, we, we're all right because that didn't do this. But if you do something that takes from another, affects another, the energy transpires farther than you, this is all personal. This is all personal. This is all personal. Okay, that will stay. All right, this one says Halloween. And that looks like more than Halloween. Looks like tools. Got a wrench here, Pittsburgh. Got another wrench here. Nothing extravagant, but that's a couple bucks a piece, right? I don't see some fancy brands here. Service tools. Napa, that's probably a good $10 at the flea market, maybe 15. We'll see. Superior shots, lead gray upgrade bulb. 2500 lumens there's no bulb in there okay another one of these tools got a lot of tools that look like that then it gets into some wires oh yeah the old bolt box plastic nope looks like we're running out of things here to look at here we got a fuel pump but that looks used even so yeah a little fuel pump Vinyl tubing, what do we have here? It looks like literally just stuff, guys. All your garage things, that little bracket there. Little garage stuff like this and things like that. Little man stuff. Alright, so all the things we don't need. Coco. One, four, two, two, five. Okay, Coco 401. Where were they going? Florakeen General Hydroponics. All right, I think uh, they were into them, them little uh, California root bearing trees, right? That's what I'm seeing here. Small operation. Neem oil. <laughs> Last time I heard that was on a movie. Uh, Freaking. Like he's drawing a blank. Uh, Method Man. It's a nice little lamp realistically as even though it's heavy and stuff that is a ten dollar sale if i am lucky all right what do we got in here in this shoe bag some adidas heavily worn with the hole same here similar little hole probably design flaw textile upper balance man made made in china i almost feel like that might be a good shoe though if I remember correctly, Bongo is an older brand and people wear the vintage is pretty pricey now. So this is just a shoe box here. Nothing extravagant. The shoe, these boots are kind of nice. Those might end up in my Alameda load. Always check boots make sure nobody left some money in there. I guess that's what I'll do is I build my Alameda load as I go. Oh, well, the horrible part is this unit is starting to heavily smell like pee, like really bad pee, and it's kind of giving me, oh my gosh. This is kind of nice. I almost feel like taking this home, to be honest with you, just because it goes in the ground, and it's just tall enough for our rabid dog to not get it. I think I'm going to take that home. Well, too bad the camera wasn't on. You guys would have saw this just freaking break. That sucks. And this could have been taken apart. So instead, it's now just broken. I'm gonna try to at least salvage it. I gotta get back $2,000 on this unit because I rented the unit plus I bought it. I'm well over 2,000 now into this unit and hoping to get some profit, right? That's a neat jaw. I've never seen one like that. A little oblong. That's a couple bucks and then you got a $10 pot. So we're looking at maybe 15 right here. Whew, we're getting to it. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. We've exposed this. I'm being very cautious because it smells in here. I, uh, there's a chance of being roaches. Um, and the people next door to me were here as well. I don't like to be too loud when people are next door. They just left. So this was incredible. During my live, I did just go live and I found some great stuff. I don't think that is actual gold, but I'm going to definitely test it. Come in here. We found this right here. A beautiful silver coin painted. 
Liberty walking Liberty dollar so that I keep right away it goes in my safe deposit box here we got a 1923 piece dollar as well that will end up in my safe deposit box and then we got some jewelry to be tested right here and not to mention we got all this right here and these I'm gonna have to go and test but this is marked 14 karat right here this piece right here is literally marked 14 karat on the clasp and this piece as well is marked 14 karat where'd it go this one so if you missed that live go check it out we found a bunch of other boxes and some cool stuff yeah finally got this cat uncovered that was pretty nice and uncovered this weight bench you could barely see there one of the most unique finds so far is that empty ps5 box i found on my live that'll be pretty interesting um this looks like hmm, raiders collector's guild what is this like a dale earnhardt race car or something what do we got here oh yes and it actually is certificate of authenticity limited edition 1000 it's got the car it's got the other car that's the truck to drive the car you see that tell me that's not pretty nice i don't know what that's worth but i'm, I'm gonna guess if i had to guess i would say at least maybe a hundred bucks right there nice this was already open so that's kind of weird some incense karma sense karma says this goes to uh one of the newer nintendo systems hope i just find that whole system in here right now that would have been nice the video game stuff controller for those side pieces another controller okay all right duct tape all right that's nice i'm probably gonna dibs that one it's looking that way oh another beautiful harley shirt right there so that's a good shirt at least it's better than some of the other ones that are in here i shouldn't say these are bad but bulldog softball another genuine harley shirt well taken care of xl that'll make it into a different pile and we're coming into some other things like here's a nike jacket that's a nice jacket right there nike is bucks always it's looking like a lot of just clothes in here here we go some more harley davidson here is uh, the white version of the last shirt and then here is 2015 bartels los angeles california so those are nice looks like we got a lot more harley coming out here here is uh the gray version of the last sweater so that's cool those are those add up when you buy a storage unit it's a, if clothes get you your money back then so be it i got two grand out plus expenses of the store i think it was 1850 plus i'm oh, i know i'm over two grand pretty sure the unit costs 300 to rent if i can get out of here in the last couple days and we are finding some cool things so my favorite finds of the day consist of this beautiful piece that i'm gonna take home for the little woman and this right here that i'm gonna keep for myself those are my two favorite finds not to mention that piece of gold we've got a lot to go the weather is about to go it looks like it's about to start well it doesn't look like it's about to rain yet over that direction looks like it's about to rain and i don't want to get too far in here we'll come back tomorrow we're going to do a lot of filming tomorrow Pirates, what's up? It's evening time here. Has anybody else been just dealing with the struggles of inflation this lately? Have you guys been noticing how crazy things are and how expensive it is to buy almost anything? It's been nuts because I, I used to buy a lot of products um, at the flea market and from other people, right? You try to save money where you can. Well, if you remember correctly, I used to buy all of my toilet paper. That was one of the most important commodities ever, right? Is you have toilet paper. It's like gold, some say. This is a crazy story that I've learned about. I've known for a uh, found this out recently and i haven't shared this yet but if you guys remember i used to buy a lot of toilet paper in bulk and i used to buy my shampoo and i used to get things like that from a gentleman who used to sell at the flea market he was a i wouldn't say he's a friend of mine but he was an associate i met him because i used to buy my stuff at the flea market and when you start to buy stuff off people you do this thing where you hey i want to buy more so let me get your number right so i used to just ended up meeting him at my storage i even think that uh, alex has bought from him uncle michael said all the whole team is because we used to go to the auctions at public storage in concord and that's where one of his units are so i'd always be like hey i'm gonna uh, i need to get some toilet paper i need to hit you up i need to get some toilet paper and some shampoo and stuff because it was a good deal he always had the scott i like scott toilet paper septic safe very comfortable yet thin you know what i mean some toilet paper likes to clog the toilet that's very annoying when you get that thick stuff that's like nowadays the stuff at the store seems like it just clogs the toilet 
Example, I've been buying this stuff at a grocery outlet. It's it's all right. It's not the best. It's kind of thin, though. It's kind of thin and thick at the same time. It's weird. I don't know how to explain it, but it's, it says septic safe. But this stuff is like, what is it, eight bucks for these 24 packs? Well, that's what I used to pay. I used to pay six bucks for the nice Scott, right? And I used to just buy like one, two, 300 bucks of toilet paper at a time. That closet, if you remember, in the middle of quarantine was full, floor to roof. Well, this is the crazy story. I kept trying to call my guy and he wasn't answering. And then I called my guy some more. Wouldn't answer. Weeks, months go down the road. I'm like, hey, I need to, uh, I need to get some toilet paper. Where are you at? You know what I mean? Talk to the manager. This story. <laughs> Luckily, I didn't end up in trouble. I mean, I only bought stuff off the guy. I'm sure nobody buying stuff off him got in trouble. But the story goes, this man was in charge of a 50, 50 million dollar crime ring of toilet paper, pharmaceuticals like aspirins and your Benadryls and your things like that, your shampoos. I even, I swear we put his, I swear I've shown his unit even on videos two years ago when I, I was buying my stuff off of him and a year ago when, right before this happened, whenever, I don't even know exactly, some time flies, right? So it's been a while since I've been able to purchase toilet paper from him, but it's nuts, $50 million. Let me show you guys this article. This right here. Major San Francisco Bay Area retail theft ring busted, five suspects arrested, $8 million in stolen merchandise. This is crazy. You can go on and read these articles. Five suspects are facing a variety of charges. Approximately $8 million in stolen merchandise has been recovered. That's recovered, okay? That doesn't even crack the barrel. It says right here somewhere it's $50 million. Let me find it here. This particular article is saying 40 million, but the last one I read said 50 million. So we'll just, we'll, we'll say 40 million. That's fine too, because that's a ridiculous amount. But these people were in charge. They called him the medicine man. Hold on a second. This right here, this right here is nuts, right? Look at that. All this stuff is medicine. They would pack it up and they'd ship it out all over the country. That's all they do. Uh, it was funny now that I think about it. See, October 7th, 2020. San Mateos is freaking nuts. Over 8 million over 8 million recovered, and then the total losses, that must have been a house or something. I never been to a house. All right, here we go, I found it. It was called Operation Proof of Purchase, the story behind a $50 million. See, that's where I was reading the $50 million and the more than 8 million in razor blades, white strips over the medic. They didn't mention toilet paper, but that was the best one. And this is literally where I used to go buy it. This is the Monument Boulevard public storage where I used to, well, we used to go to live auctions there, all of us, Jeebus, Alex, Jack, et cetera, et cetera. I think even we did the big collab when uh, What the Hales came out and everybody else, we all got together, Renee, we all bought storage. This is the same facility that I won the great collab with. As I am the YouTube reigning champ of the storage auction whatever you want to call it. But story goes, this is the same facility, right? This is the exact place, the unit. That's freaking nuts to see that I was literally buying my toilet paper. If you want to read the full story, just type in these type of things right here. My freaking toilet paper, my shit. Uncle Michael bought Tresemme off of me. You know how Uncle Michael only uses Tresemme or however you pronounce it. Uncle Michael's bought Tresemme on. This is freaking crazy because I would have never guessed. I mean, I probably would not have bought anything off this guy had I known he was involved in this. But it's crazy because you never know what people are doing, right? This guy was pretty cool. Him and his wife, they would always be at the flea market and they would just set up in Oakland. They would just set up in Concord or whatever and they would just sell some products. They sat there and sold shampoos and things and that dude always had a stack of money like knots and i'm always asking himself now it makes me think right like this man always pulled out knots of hundreds right and uh now i'm thinking about like i'm thinking to myself back then i'm like i'm just thinking this guy must be flipping the same amount of money and doing well it never didn't click in my brain he's just selling medicine i'm out here selling uh some great things and i can't s replicate what he's doing financially but that's crazy though i mean in my opinion like inflation sucks so i have to buy my toilet paper at the store i no longer get these deals but now i understand kind of why i was but it goes to show you because that's not the first time i've ended up in something of this situation buying something from somebody at storage you don't know if i've ever told you but if you guys want to hear that story of uh, the time i got in a raid comment below and i will tell that story um if you want to hear it we can make a little video i can try to but it happened off buying so i've never been in a criminal crime myself like i don't have i don't gotta i probably have the cleanest record of anybody you've ever met i believe it or not I don't have this parking ticket, a speeding ticket, a moving violation. I've never, nothing. There is no record. You feel free to Google me. That's the beauty of life. You can Google anybody, put their name in, hit in Google, and you will find all about their criminal history. I can tell you right now, you can type me in and you will never find nothing. 
but I work hard in my life to not be that person. Like it's an easy way to take the easy route. Like this man took the easy route to make 50 million. I can never do that. I would love to make $50 million. I'd be happy to make $1 million, but I would never do anything that takes my soul, causes me conflict like that, is going to cost me uh, my freedom, et cetera, et cetera. I'll work for it. I'll do the hard way. I'll suffer and, and make less at a regular job than I will jeopardize my freedom in my life like that. I miss my toilet paper. All right. Anyway, that's a crazy story. I love y'all. Thanks for watching.